Shaddai International Christian Center London is a community of people who are passionate about sharing the love, hope, goodness, and purpose of God to our generation. The El Shaddai I see is a prophetic church. It's a church with healing in their wings. It's a church that just don't know how to worship, but knows how to take free the word of God to a generation. It's a church that is vested and founded on revelation knowledge. It's a church that will prophesy life to a dying world. We are a multicultural church with over a thousand members from more than 55 different nations. Our meetings are family oriented with vibrant, extravagant worship and inspiring practical teaching from God's word. It would be our pleasure to welcome you to this family and we look forward to seeing you soon. Welcome to Get Understanding. I'm Ramson Mumba, and I am so glad you could join us for today's broadcast. You know, I could hardly wait to share this word regarding what we are calling the mind of a conqueror. There is a certain mindset that demands victory and breakthrough and would not settle for mediocrity because your mind is set according to the will of God for you. And so today, join me on this life-changing broadcast as we examine the truth of God's word and then recalibrate our thinking to line up with that word so we may be victorious regardless of the challenges of life. And I look forward to seeing you after the broadcast. Have you ever had a tired soul? You didn't even have to get out of your house before you feel all beaten up or drained. You didn't have to walk for the energy to burn the calories. No, 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 before you felt tired. No, no, no. The, it is already, the, the, there's in your members, inside you, there is another law that is fighting the law of your mind. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I submit to you tonight that in life, you will not be given the choice as to whether or not you get to be at war. Whether or not you like it, you will nevertheless find yourself with war within. And to not know that fact is to lose the battle before you even engage. Because if you didn't know that they were going to blow up some stuff and the devil has already launched a preemptive strike, you will be caught unawares. That's why sometimes you don't even know how you ended up where you ended up. Why? Because before you woke up, they already bombed your house while you were sleeping. So he said, there is, a, there's, there's, a, there's another law. Now let's talk about a law. We, we dealt with this on Sunday. A law is an established principle that will work for anybody that will put it to work. But here is something you need to understand about laws. You do not get the choice as to whether or not you accept the 
uh, let, let's use a, 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 a concise word, whether or not you accept the legitimacy of the law. Uh, let me give you an example. Some Christians love to say, the Bible says it, I believe it, and that settles it. No, that's not true. If the Bible said it, whether or not you believe it, it's already settled. <laughs> Don't interject yourself in there. Whether or not you believe it, it is already settled in heaven. It's the same thing. Whether or not I agree with gravity, it, it, it still will work. It won't say, let's see what Mumba thinks today. Does he feel like falling if he jumps? <laughs> no, gravity will operate whether or not I like it. Hello, somebody. So a law will exist and will work independent of you without your consent, without what you think about it. And here is the deal. You are not given the opportunity to either make or unmake a law whether or not you like it. The only thing you have to do is either cooperate or violate the law, but either way there are consequences. And now there's a law in your members and either way there are consequences. Whether or not you like the fact that there's a law in your members, it's still there. And whether or not you appreciate it, it will still give you some choices and some results. So this is serious stuff. This is serious stuff because if you ignore this fact, you are already destroyed before you get started. Now, notice this. This law in your members has declared war against the law. Somebody shout the law. The law. Against the law of your minds. So I submit to you that there is such a thing as the law of the mind. The law of the mind. Now, because we are learning, and you know how learning takes place, you know the way they do you, for example, when you start learning algebra, uh, they, they don't begin to show you by writing the equation on the board. They bring you maybe oranges or little sticks. Amen. So that you can gain concept. And then they add the knowledge to it. Learning takes place by bringing a known concept and relating it to an unknown concept and then establishing the relationship for you to find the meaning of the new concept. So by the same token, we know what a law is. A law is an established principle that will work whenever and however for whomever chooses to put it to work. But now notice, this is the law of the mind. That means the mind has some established principles that will work for anybody that put it to work and it will produce certain results. That means there is something you can do about your mind. Because if it's a law, that means we, just like we can predict gravity, know that if we throw something up in the air, it will fall to the ground at the rate of 32 feet per second, regardless of, of what object it is. We know that's the rate at which gravity will drop something to the ground. Therefore, we can create laws that take care of gravity or that supersede gravity if we want to override or supersede it. For example, if we want to fly, we know gravity won't be turned on. So what we have to do is to understand the law of thrust and lift and then calculate how heavy this object is so that when we make the wings, you know, uh, you, you've seen the wings, we, we take an object and curve it aerodynamically and run it in a particular direction, especially against the opposing wind at a particular speed. We know it will create a vacuum up underneath that wing, hello somebody, and that vacuum is the thing that will cause the lift to take place. But we have to calculate how much of a vacuum we need to create relative to the size of the aeroplane if it is to take place, to take off. Are you seeing what I'm saying? Yeah. So by the same token, if, if, if the mind has a certain law and we are going to overcome the tendencies of your mind, your depression, your fear, your insecurity, we have to understand and make calculations based on the word of God on what we need to do when certain things happen in order for us to stop the negative effects of the law of the mind so that we can rise higher than the limitations of the law of the mind because we are at war. Is this too deep or am I slow enough? Okay, so what we want to do is we want to be people that are not victims. We want to be people that are engaged in life. You, you don't have to watch your life happen because you won't like what happens. 
if you are a victim and you just receive everything that's coming to you, <laughs> you won't really like everything that happens. Because listen, we are, we are in a fallen world. That means there is a devil. And his whole job is to steal, to kill, and to what? Now, he don't care if you're a baby. He will still kill, steal, and destroy. One of my worst moments as a pastor was to be doing a funeral for a three-month-old baby. That time, that funeral mocked me. The baby, you know, caught death. The baby died in its sleep. And it, it, it really got me. I was thinking, the devil must be mean. I mean, what's a three-month-old baby done for the devil to come and snatch its life from him? If he can steal from a baby like that, then I'm not going to play with him. If he is so mean that he don't even spare a helpless child and it has to grapple with the iron strength of death, then bless God, the devil is bad. I don't care how you justify him. He is a thief. He comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. So that's why we can't wait to receive from the devil because whenever he gets an opportunity, his whole assignment is to steal, to kill, and to destroy. So we don't want life to happen to us because the only one dishing out this kind of life is the devil and the devil ain't going to give you nothing good. So that's why we better, we better get involved. Tell your neighbor you better get involved. Now look at this, the law of the mind. It is working in your members. And there's a law that is at war. Bringing me, look at this. Look at the purpose of this. This law that's working against the law of your mind, its objective is to bring you into slavery, into captivity, to the law of sin. There's another law. To the law of sin, which is in my members. Dog, does this get worse? I'm already at war, and not only is there some other law that's dragging me to another law, but its, it's objective is to bring me to the door of the law of sin. Join Dr. Ramsam Mumba for his Word Explosion conferences that are being held around the United Kingdom throughout 2012. We were born to dominate. We were born to succeed and to rise up like an eagle. Come on, somebody. We were born to have mastery, and instead of fearing our future, we were born to shape it. Come and hear the uncompromising Word of God taught with simplicity and understanding in Manchester on the 18th of August. Sheffield on the 22nd of September, Loughborough on the 20th of October. If you are waiting to be punished, Jesus was already punished. Your sin was already condemned in his body. Your sickness was nailed to that cross. Your poverty was nailed to that cross. Your fear was nailed to that cross. Your defeat was turned into victory on that cross. Your mistakes were paid for on that cross. And today, you have the blood bought right to have victory in every area of your life because Jesus Christ of Nazareth was your substitute. Hallelujah. Your destiny is about to change and your life will never be the same again. For more information and to register, call us at 084-560-2270, email info at elshaddai.org.uk, or log on to our website at www.elshaddaitoday.com. Word Explosion 2012. Come and discover your destiny and enter into the realm of possibility. Admission is free. So, herein lies the Christian struggle. Now, remember, he's talking to born-again people. So, 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 this, uh, I got saved and, and it all changed. No, 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 no. Your spirit changed. Yeah. Everything else now is in process. Your spirit changed. Everything else is in process. Somebody say, I looked at my hands, they look new. No, 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 no. They were just as bony as they were when, before I got saved. Are you listening to me? Or whatever you look like. They, they, if you had an ugly toe, that thing is still as ugly as it has ever been. If you had a bunion on your foot, hello somebody, it is still there. You got to check the shoes before you just sleep them in. Why? Because born again doesn't clear all the birthmarks. Thank you for your enthusiasm. 
Amen. No, 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 no. So, so, so look at this. There is this law that is trying to bring me to the law of sin and is talking to Christians. So here is a reality check, Christian. You are not exempt from the attack of the law of sin. To assume and beyond that is the worst thing you can do concerning walking upright before God. You have to assume that you can be taken down. You have to assume that you can just as much be a casualty of war as somebody that don't even love God. Because the man started out saying, I, I, I delight in the Lord of God. I love God, but there is something else in my members. That's putting a fight up. And it's attacking my thinking. Notice the place where it goes to attack. Your thinking. So that it can bring you to captivity to the law of sin. But it will attack your thinking. Your sin will be the product of the attack on your thinking. If we can get you to conceive a sinful thought, then we can get you to participate. You know, Galatians 5 talks about the works of the flesh, are adultery, fornication, malice, and the rest of it. But, but listen, you can't fornicate until you first of all think what? Fornication. You first of all have to look at him and say, oh, it'd be nice. <laughs> Nobody going to talk to me. <laughs> okay, okay, you are too holy. I'm, I'm going to come right there. You, you can't steal until you think, I wonder what that can buy for me. <laughs> How many of my problems would be solved? <laughs> Hello, somebody. Uh, you, 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 can't, you can't just be malicious unless you see what advantage you're going to get out of it, but it will happen in your mind first, and then from your thinking, that act will take place. That's why he said you can fornicate just by looking at her. Because by the time you get to bed, you'd already undressed her 20 times. Right. Yes, sir. Can I preach this? Do I need to just camp a little and say one more thing? Who you been undressing in church? Okay, okay, okay. Come on, let's go to church. No, pastor, I've not been undressing them. I, I'm a woman. I don't think like that. But, but okay, okay, okay. Here is, here is how you do it as a woman. Who you been enticing in church? The man be undressing you with his eyes, but the woman, you go get up a push-up bra so you can put him up a little bit more. <laughs> Boy, I'm going to get to where you are. You want them properly situated so he can see what he need to see. Nobody going to say amen tonight because uh, I'm too frank for you. Am I too frank for you? But the law of the mind is the thing that's under attack. So if we can stop it before it spills over into the sin realm, then we can keep everybody walking in integrity before God. But what we do is we fight all the external things, but we still don't change people's thinking. So you catch yourself trying to take a second look, gentlemen. You say, no, we're not going to solve that in our mind. You catch yourself wanting to have a short address so you can impress him. You say, no, we're not going to do that. I'm preaching better than your amen. Good preaching, rams of God. Go right on. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. Now look at this. The will of a man is the most dominant factor in the earth. Please understand this, and we're going to prove it and qualify it for you. The will of a man, your will, is the most dominant factor in the earth. Because we know the law of the mind is basically talking about the law of your mind, your will, and your emotions. And the, the will of a man, notice this, is the most dominant factor in the earth. Even God does not violate the will of a man. The will of a man 
is so precious and so significant, so much so that God will walk with you to the gates of hell, hoping that before you get in, you will turn. But if you don't turn, he will love you right into hell. Because your will is the most dominant factor in the earth. That's why one of the worst things any human being can do is to try and control another and to oppress them and to try to run somebody's life. There is something about the human spirit that will not tolerate that because it is by nature a free will. It refuses to be dominated. That's why you don't like people that dominate you. Sometimes you don't, even, you don't even know what to call it, but you just know something is not right there. They are too much in my being. They are too much opinionated. They always want to say, and you don't even know what to call it, but your spirit just, there's a jarring in your spirit every time they show up because they are trying to violate the strongest thing in the earth, which is your will. You better take care of that. Because God put his power in your will. I'm going to get to that later. Let's not get ahead of myself. If you listen to the voice of your spirit, it would save you a lot of sweat. You remember when we were doing the series on the word of God, I told you your spirit is eternal. It's got all the information there is. There are certain things about him, there are certain things about her that, she, that, that it knows, but because you suppressed it, Later on you said, but I, I, I used to have a hunch. But if you had listened to the so-called hunch, the Holy Ghost was trying to talk to you. Now, here is what I want you to notice. Even though the will of a man is the most dominant factor in the earth, you are still given the right to set it. Go to Colossians. Am I helping anybody tonight? Yes. Colossians chapter 3. Now, don't be saying that at your house if you're married. Well, bless God, you're trying to dominate me. No, if he's your man, if she's your woman, she wants you, just take it. You forfeited that right. Thank you for your enthusiasm. I'm not talking about abuse now. I'm talking about there'll be times when he wants it, when you want it, and he don't want it. You don't need to pray. Just say, I signed up for it, bless God. <laughs> That's the attitude. How can I talk to those of you that are too saved? <laughs> Pray, God help me to feel something, but it's my duty now. No, 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 no. Here is how that's going to help, gentlemen. Now, you don't ignore her the whole day um, and, and watch football and, and do your thing. And then when she's tired having taken care of the children, you didn't even help wash the doggone babies. And now she's ready to fall asleep because she's tired. And at 11 p.m., you tap her on the shoulder. Are we on tonight? Like she's a football game. Well, I'm so glad you could join us for today's broadcast. It's my sincere hope and prayer that the Word of God is making a difference in your life. Let me give you an opportunity today as you consider prayerfully what the Lord has been speaking to you because I know He's spoken to some of you regarding joining us as a vision partner, getting in on the opportunity to share the gospel and to affect generations with the life-changing Word of God as you sponsor it through your financial giving and prayers, standing with us in the gap, making sure that God opens doors of utterance in the nations to affect them with this gospel that changes lives every day. So if the Lord has been speaking to you about that, go to our website and sow a generous seed and get in touch with us. Send us your prayer requests because we want to stand with you not only by teaching you the Word of God, but by mixing our faith with yours and in partnership achieve greater results together than we would otherwise do by ourselves. And so until next time, this is Ramson Mumba reminding you that wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, you get wisdom, and in all of your getting, get understanding. God bless you.
Join Dr. Ramsam Mumba for his Word Explosion conferences that are being held around the United Kingdom throughout 2012. We were born to dominate. We were born to succeed and to rise up like an eagle. Come on, somebody. We were born to have mastery, and instead of fearing our future, we were born to shape it. Come and hear the uncompromising Word of God taught with simplicity and understanding in Manchester on the 18th of August, Sheffield on the 22nd of September, Loughborough on the 20th of October. If you are waiting to be punished, Jesus was already punished. Your sin was already condemned in his body. Your sickness was nailed to that cross. Your poverty was nailed to that cross. Your fear was nailed to that cross. Your defeat was turned into victory on that cross. Your mistakes were paid for on that cross. And today, you have the blood bought right to have victory in every area of your life because Jesus Christ of Nazareth was your substitute. Hallelujah. Your destiny is about to change and your life will never be the same again. For more information and to register, call us at 084-560-2270. Email info at elshaddai.org.uk or log on to our website at www.elshaddaitoday.com. Word Explosion 2012. Come and discover your destiny and enter into the realm of possibility. Admission is free. Thank you for watching Get Understanding. For information about our ministries or to download our free podcasts, visit us at www.elshaddaitoday.com.